you talk, the product too must, must, must sell. Despite that too, when you are giving your all and your salary is not consistent, what do you do? Yeah, there, there are two ways to eat. The first thing there is the definition of salary not being consistent is a little bit relative because we are in a climb where we have a lot of um, upcoming graduates that wants to start so big and uh, was this somebody that graduates without any experience in a certain field of studies or experience in a certain field of work wants to make it big over the night. And that is actually putting pressure on uh, uh, the society itself. So that same person is being paid 50,000 a month as a graduate. It tells you it is not consistent with what he wants and is living a lifestyle of 500,000. So that's a part. That being said, however, in an ideal situation where you, are, where you are working in a company and your salary is not consistent, number one, you need to ask yourself, what are you putting in in the company? Is it commensurate to what is the company is giving to you? Because one of the important things is that don't overstay in some work areas. There are some times that you need to be sacked for you to move to the next level. Mm. That's the truth. You need to be sacked to, to be able to move to the next level. Because the moment you stay too long in an institution or in an organization which is not valuing your inputs, which is not valuing your input as a premium, but at, at a discount, you will waste part of your useful life serving such organization and you are earning less. So the, one of the first things you need to do, you need to self-appraise yourself. What are you putting on the table for the organization? And you need to not do what? To negotiate. Because once you see that what you are putting on the table stand, stand as a premium in addition to the organization, like I also tell people, especially job applicants and people that are working, I tell them, make sure nobody in your organization can do what you can do. That is a trick. The moment you don't come to work for like two to three, five days, nobody's feeling your presence, I can bet you for free. You are ready to go. You are not adding value. Your salary will not be consistent. But the moment you cannot go on a leave, casual leave of two days, everybody's asking, where's this guy? Where's this guy? Where's this lady? You become very significant. You become a platform where people need to seek your service. At that point, you start negotiating your service. And also, you must also be aware of what is obtainable in your industry. What are the pay rates in the industry for the same service you are placed in an organization? I have a friend which was work, who was also working as a lab reagent specialist in one of the NGOs. And he was processing blood samples. to be uh, Like we have the blood samples, working in one of the premium blood samples units. And then uh, he was actually not paid enough in terms of hazard allowance. So you, uh, when he discussed with me, I told me, go and find out what you put on the table. Take a leave for two days and see what happens. After he leave for like day, they started calling him, uh, you can't afford to go on the leave, you have backlog of blood, blood samples you need to process. I said, fine, you need, it's time for you to negotiate. So the, the trick behind having inconsistent salary is for you to up your game. Do something new that the organization cannot do We've lost him. I can, I can bet you for free. Every organization wants somebody that is actually no, no, no. adding value to them. And the moment they see that, they cannot do it without you. The moment they see, hello? The moment they see they can't do without you, it is a basis for you to negotiate your fee. And if they can't pay your fee, you need to be sacked. You need to move on. Sack yourself before they sack you. Sack yourself before they sack you. You don't need to. You don't need to stay too long there because you have a career. Whether you like it or not, you have a useful life. You need to maximize. There are actually grants for certain advancement in career. Once you miss that link of advancement, it might take you like three to five years to recover it. So when it's time to move on, you need to move on. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I'm having some private chats. Uh, some people are saying they're enjoying it, that the time is too short, that we should extend it, they're enjoying it. But I want to give, I want to still give the floor to anyone in the, in the audience, participants. Do you have any question? If you want to talk, just um, unmute your mic and let me see 
we can pick one by one, we can pick randomly, we can pick everyone together, so we can have a, ask questions. Or you want to make a comment. No one is interested in, we all, we all getting it, no one wants to talk. Okay, uh, I want us to round up this, this process now, this uh, session. Uh, Hello, I'm I want to talk. Hello, my name is Omolara. Can anyone hear me? We can hear you. Okay, I'm kind of on transit, so <laughs> it's noisy here. Okay, I just want a good afternoon, everyone from here. I'm speaking from Lagos, Nigeria. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed this program. It's so insightful for me. I've learned a lot from all the speakers. Yes, from all the speakers. So I just want to give an idea to someone who is on this call who might be scared of a job or his job or who doesn't know what to do in the post-pandemic era that we have now. It's just about you going online to search for online jobs. In fact, you can search for online jobs internationally. Don't limit yourself to Nigeria alone. There are so many online jobs now out there. For if you like to go to the technology side, like you want to switch to technology, you can search for jobs, online jobs in technology, actually. So some of them, you do the exams online on their website and they rate you and they send you an email to let you know that you have passed this exam and they tell you when you can start. And they, they kind of inform you on their benefits or whatsoever they, you'll be paid on. So, and do not just search for one job. If you get one online job, search for another one. You can have two different online jobs at your, in your hands and you can be making money, you know, in dollars and also. I have friends who are working from home. In fact, before the COVID issue came in, they got jobs online and they had to quit their normal um, office job just to be able to pay attention to the online job because it pays them better. So I think if you want to get more information on how to search for online jobs and the kind of online jobs that are secure that you should go for, you need to send an email to Center for Learning. He has an idea of how to go about it. So he will help you out. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you, Mala. Thank you, Mala. Thank you very yeah. much. Uh, Where anybody else wants to talk, so that we don't look as if we are being partial. Anybody else? I don't want to call names. I don't, I'm seeing names here, but anyone else wants to talk? Okay. I think that's it for today. That's it for this section. I want to appreciate everyone, the speakers, Mr. Femi Fash. Um, you've been a friend for long way back. The story of the 17 years at this, I, can, I, have, I have some experience in that story. And I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to, to God for where you are today. Miss Winifred, we, we, we met last year, right? Last year. And, uh, yeah, last year. Yes, and I, I seriously uh, want to thank you all for honoring this invitation for this session, for this program. It's something that um, we are recording it and I will send it to you. You can share it with your friends, you can share with colleagues, those that feel that will need it, that are not supposed to be here. Seriously, there are several events like this. Everyone is talking about post-COVID. So I, I believe maybe talking about it is creating anxiety in the mind of people. And then um, some people feel, what are they going to talk about? Is it not the same thing um, that um, they are heard yesterday? Like tomorrow now, I'm going to be speaking to young people in my church online about skills for SME. And part of the things you are saying today now, things I've jotted down, that they need to know. It means that for our take home today, skill is number one thing that increases your value. You have to have a value. I had a staff one time, I told that, oh, if you want to sell your voice, how do you market your voice? How do you sell your voice? How do you sell your voice? If you can't be regiment in one particular area, you have to showcase yourself. So. I want to appreciate everyone, participants, speakers, for coming in. Thank you very much. Um, Center for Learning is open for further businesses. If I have your email, I can share information with you about how to help yourself in most of these questions. And if you want to reach out to our speakers, send your email in the chat box. we we'll reach out to you. Thank you very much. Have a good day or evening.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you and bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.